It's Madden NFL 24. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Jets and the Niners. And it's all up next. It is a pretty hot late summer afternoon here in the South Bay as EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the San Francisco 49ers. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white lines. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yes, yeah, a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for the thank you for the notice. Got it teed up, and we are underway now from Santa Clara. On the return is Xavier Gibson. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU and Zach Wilson. And we all know the scouting report on him. He can attack the field at all levels with a very strong arm and make big time plays off schedule. We also see a player with confidence and swagger. We see a guy who knows how to lead a team, who knows how to compete and wants to be great every time he hits the field. Quickly to the air is Wilson. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. Here's second and ten. To throw is Wilson. Here as he's taken down. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathed a sigh of relief on that sideline. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. To throw from his end zone, Wilson. That's to the sideline and incomplete. That's their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Here's Thomas Morstead now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there. And this is a pretty good kick. And taken right at the 35. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense. First and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Purdy now to throw. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down 
second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Here's Wilson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Wilson smart to take off and run with it as he's able to pick up the first. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. On first and ten, it's Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll make it second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing is Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Oh, that's a nice job of clearing space in the middle of the field for your tight end. He's going to start behind the line and run an angle route, hoping to kind of get lost in the middle of the field. And this is put right on him, and he's able to pick up a first down. On first down, Wilson. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Nick Bosa, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. They go play action now. Wilson to the sideline and incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Seven play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now Wilson. Throw left sideline for us incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Uh, that's well done defensively. They get the pressure they needed on third down. All the receivers are locked up tight. And they force that quarterback to just throw it away. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down.
And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20 yard line. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. We'll tick by in this first half. So we've hit halftime here in what obviously is a very fast-moving first half of play. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Not too much to show you in terms of scoring plays. In fact, there's nothing to show you. A scoreless tie here at the half. Both of these defenses have been outstanding thus far. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? This field right at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. going to lead the 49ers to the line first and 10 at their own 23. Now Samuel. And a short gain there so get it up only to about the 24. The linebacker C.J. Mosley in on the stop. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. A second down throw for Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Zone so coverage here defensively. They're going to let their tight end run a drag across the field. This is where a linebacker gets forced to pass him off. That time, the receiver gets lost a little bit. And he's able to make the catch and pick up good yardage in a first down. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Second and five. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. As we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. And throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Here's third down at five. Here's Purdy. Got a man, that's IU. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Here 
There it is, fourth and inches. Here we go with McCaffrey. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. He needed less than a foot. He didn't get a whole lot more than that, but he did get the first down. Well, he and his offensive line created enough push where if he was able to just fall forward as he was able to there, that would pick up the first down. As you noted, didn't need a whole lot, didn't get much more than that. Here's Purdy to throw. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Another try, second and ten now. Purdy to throw. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. McCaffrey and tackled down after a gain of three leaves him with one yard to go on third down that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line yeah defensively all I'm thinking is that on that play get me to third down get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field a big play in this football game third down and one they'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey and he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Man, what were you thinking on defense there? It looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So it all comes down to the right foot of Jake Moody. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. I guess we can call that a welcome to the NFL moment right there. And he came in with open arms and knocked it through. Yeah, how about that? It's almost surely a game winner, right? And you know, rookie kickers, usually the leash is kind of short, isn't it? I think they went ahead and got that extended model for him now after making that kick. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And able to get this out to the 25. Here's first and 10. One last shot for Wilson. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So the victory here for San Francisco. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. 
But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket, and that's what they've got going forward. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, 